Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Hayden Gallup and welcome to the channel. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make that cool little render of mine that you guys just saw at the beginning of this video where you've got those different spheres with the variated lighting and it's just giving off that really nice polished and sleek looking reflection on those spheres. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing we're going we're gonna to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and go up to my shapes and just grab a sphere. So from there, we're going to go ahead and go to MoGraph and grab a cloner. And I'm going to go ahead and link this sphere to that cloner. And as you guys saw right there, we just got duplicates of that sphere and they're all kind of like collided together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to this cloner and I'm going to change the object properties on here. So we're going to change it from linear to grid array. And I'm going to go ahead and change the count as well. We're going to go ahead and change this up to, let's see, about 20. 20 sounds good. Let's do 10 over here. And let's do 4 for the depth. Awesome. So now what we want to do is just give this a little bit more space on this object so that way we can have some breathing room. And one moment, I'm going to go ahead and back up a little bit here so that we get a better view of this. So I'm going to go ahead and change this up a little bit. Let's go with I'm thinking 1800. Sounds about good. Let's do 1800. Awesome. And let's go ahead and 480. Let's do that. Perfect. Awesome. So now we got a lot more room here to work with. And now we want to go ahead and scramble this uh, thing up a little bit here. Give it a little bit more uh, variety in the position. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to MoGraph and I'm going to go to Effector and I'm going to go ahead and choose Random. As you guys saw right there, went and scrambled everything up really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and just change up this random over random mode over here in the object properties to noise and indexed awesome and the next thing we're going to want to go ahead and do is just add some variation to the scaling over here so that way we can get some different radius of spheres and uh just looks a lot nicer that way so i'm going to go up back up to MoGraph and grab another random effector and i'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's dropped into our spheres or our cloners effectors as well awesome so there we go I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this position and check this scaling and put uniform scaling. And let's bump this up to thinking maybe about 0.8 sounds about 0.8. Yeah, 0.85. That's that's good. And let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this really quickly just to say organize. We're going to go scale and position. And oh, my bad. Let's do position, position. Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more variety to the scaling in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate these spheres. Command C, Command V for Mac users. Control C, Control V for Windows users. Awesome, so we've got these spheres over here that are duplicated. I'm gonna go ahead and drag them back down to my cloner and make sure they're linked over there. And we're gonna change this middle sphere right here to 30 centimeters. Awesome, and we're gonna change this top one right here to 50. Sweet. So now we've got a lot more variety to this render. It just looks, uh, you've got those smaller spheres in there and you've got those bigger ones. So it just looks very nice. But now what we need to do is we need to make sure this is uh, exploded a little bit more, you know, so they're not all phased or meshed together and just looks like a giant, like messed up marshmallow right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, get into that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my sphere, click on that and go to tags, simulation tags and rigid body. We're going to go and drag this over here. So pretty much what rigid body does, guys, is it's just going to make those spheres into their own objects. So that way they can't phase through each other or become collided like this. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate these down on each of these different spheres. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to hold down command or control for Windows users. And I'm just going to drag and drop. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and drag and drop. And I'm going to highlight all these. And I'm going to go over to force. I'm going to go to follow position. And I'm going to make it to five awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit ahead of this render right here so that way we can see it explode out a little bit and what is going on right there there we go okay perfect so as you guys saw right there just kind of explodes out you know it looks very nice awesome so we got like that exploding effect right there and that's kind of what we want so just choose a nice frame that you guys find nice so let's go that's perfect awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and rotate around that for you guys you know just get a better overall view of it and now the next thing what we're going to want to do is just go ahead and find a nice camera angle to set our camera so that way we can render this thing out with that. So I'm going to go ahead and go right there. looks about good. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and let's just go maybe 
let's see, like, thinking, let's get a little bit more variety in that. Let's make sure that the outsides aren't in your render, by the way, guys. Let's just go ahead and try to find some more variety a little bit, I think, in that, uh, actually, I'm going to change this force up a little bit more, because as you guys can see, like, right here, you, you still see that messing, so let's, let's, let's change this to, like, eight. I think that'll look better. I'm going to go back to my first frame really quickly, just so I can render this out, and let's go... Yeah, see, that looks a lot better. So now you don't have any more of that going on in there. So if that does end up happening, just change up the uh, follow position, guys, and that should fix it right up. So let's do, this looks like a great spot right here. So let's, uh, let's just stick with this spot right here. I'm going to go ahead and go up here and grab a camera. And I'm going to zoom out of here just so you guys can see that. And as you guys can see right there is the camera, and it's going to be focused on that position. So now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and shade this whole entire object right over here, guys. So that way we can make sure that, you know, we got some light to this thing. There's color involved with it. So I'm going to, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to MoGraph. I'm going to go to Effector and I'm going to go to Plane. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this position. Or actually from there, I'm going to go ahead and go to Cloner. I'm going to go ahead and drop this plane into there. So that way it's affecting those spheres down here. And I'm going to go back up to plane. I'm going to turn off that position like I already did. And I'm going to go to color mode, click it on, and use alpha strength. Awesome. So from there, we're going to go ahead and start with our materials now. Or actually, back to cloner again. We're going to go back to cloner. And I'm going to change these RGB values right here to zero. So that way, the plane effector is going to change up the colors. Or is what it's going to be changing up the colors on this cloner. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, here and create a new material. I'm going to drag and drop this material on these spheres. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing again. Commander control to copy these. And as you guys saw right there, we went from white to this kind of like like light gray type of color. So now we're going to go ahead and change this up a little bit more with this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, double click on that and bring up the material editor over here. And I'm going to uncheck the color and the reflectance and only worry about the luminance. So as you guys saw right there, as soon as I click the luminance, it kind of like this got a really nice, like, or you got a really, really light type of object right here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I added new texture. It's going to be a MoGraph and color shader. So that way we can uh, make sure that the plane is activating this color over here or changing it up or giving it some variation. So now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. We're going to go back to our plane. And we're going to go ahead and change up the fall off a little bit. We're going to make the shape instead of infinite, we're going to make it box. And as you guys saw right there, it just went completely black. You've got a little bit of white right there, but we're going to adjust that right now to make sure it looks very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the size up a little bit. So yeah, as you guys can see right there, we got a little bit more uh, color coming into this thing. You know, there's the variation in lighting right there. We're going to make this a little bit taller right there. So the goal here is, you know, you're just going to kind of, I'm going to go ahead and zoom this around a little bit. Oh, my bad. Different views. <laughs> Let's go back to this one, please. <laughs> God. Oh, my bad. This view. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we want to try to make sure that the inside is what's kind of uh, the hot color over here, what's kind of like the main color we want to look at. So the insides are what's going to be white and the outsides need to be kind of like just faded off a little bit. So I'm going to go back to plain here. I'm going to adjust the Z value, bring out those colors a little bit more. And that looks great. So what I want to do also is I'm going to make sure that the fall off is adjusted just a tad. So the more you move it up or down, I guess, uh, the more you move the value down, it's going to get brighter. The more you move it up, it's going to get darker. So I'm going to try to move it up a little bit more. And let's see, I think right about there looks perfect. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and add some color and material to this thing. So that way we can uh, give it more life. So I'm going to go ahead and drag over my material editor again. And I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and click on reflectance. And I'm going to go ahead and add a Beckman layer and layer Fresnel. And let's do a dielectric. Awesome. So dielectric, that's perfect. And I'm going to go back to luminance now. And I'm going to, I'm going to rise up this brightness a little bit. Let's just give it a little bit more life. So that way, uh, when, when this render goes through that, those, that light's going to be very bright. So that way it's reflecting off of these other not so bright, uh, spheres. So it just gives it that nicer effect. So I'm thinking, let's try, let's try 163. Let's do that. And uh, let's also change up this color a little bit. I'm feeling, oh yeah, before we do that color, make sure the mix mode is changed to multiply. And now let's change up the color. So I'm thinking, let's try to go with, I'm gonna try something a little bit different here. Let's try to do, I think, yeah, let's try to do that. That looks nice. I think that looks pretty nice. So let's do that. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of my material editor again. Before we start rendering this image out, we're gonna go back up to render over here and I'm gonna go to edit render settings and I'm gonna go to anti-aliasing and we're gonna change this geometry from geometry to best and two by two. Awesome, and pretty much what anti-aliasing does, guys, is it makes sure that, that whenever you're rendering anything out that the edges are very smoothed out and it's not gonna give any rough edges or anything like that. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to options and unselect or uncheck default light. And that's pretty much ensuring that we don't have any lights outside of our scene that are coming in and affecting it. So the only thing that's glowing or giving off light are the spheres that are inside of here. So that's perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here. Actually, before I even do that, I'm gonna go ahead and change up the output a little bit, guys. So I'm gonna change the output. I'm gonna make sure it's uh, 1920 by 1080 standard HD stuff right here. Awesome, so that's perfect. And now we don't have to worry about these render settings anymore. Now we just have to adjust over here, make it to our liking. So I'm gonna go over here and go back to our camera. I'm gonna click on this little box right here. It's gonna zoom in over here. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. So as you guys can see, I don't know if you can see this very well, but there's like a, a like kind of like a, a very slight gradient of uh, a white box here, and that's pretty much the frame that your uh, your render is going to be in. So I'm going to make sure it's very widescreen because that's what uh, 1080p is. So I'm going to make sure that our frame is within this render, and I'm going to zoom in just a tad right there. That way we can make sure it's good. Make sure I'm going to double check on the render settings one more time, guys, just to make sure that it came out right. Does it feel like that? Yes, there we go, it wasn't right. Because I felt like that box was just a little bit too small for what I was looking for. Awesome, so yeah, so now I just increased it a ton. So now we've got a lot more space to work with. And like I said, make sure that you're not getting any of the outside gray that's right up here in your render because that'll just turn completely black, unless you want that, I mean, it's all preference. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here, get as much uh, of this render as we can. And I'm gonna go ahead and render this out and just see how it looks really quickly. So here we go, we got it rendering out really nicely, and oh man, this looks great, I, I like it a lot, oh my god, that looks awesome. Oh yeah, that looks great, so now as you guys can see right here, you've got a lot of variation in the lighting, um, you know, you've got those black spheres that are reflecting, it just looks very, very clean and polished, I absolutely love this render, and it's very, very, not very hard to make either, and it just looks very, uh, very sleek, so I'm gonna go ahead and render this thing out for you guys and show you how to do that really quickly in a picture format, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm gonna go up to my render, I'm gonna go to Render Picture Viewer, and I'm gonna drag this over here for you guys, or actually, let me just see if I can do this, Control Tab, awesome. So now you guys can see right here, we've got the render going, and this looks very, very nice so far. As you guys can see, it's kind of rendering out the different pixels right here, and it's very uh, wide frame. And you can also probably hear my computer fan in the background, so I apologize if that's happening. But uh, yeah, so now there's our final render image, guys. I'm going to go ahead and bring this up really quickly over here for you guys. Or actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to save this. So file, and then save as, and you're going to go to PNG, and let's go to 16-bit channel just to bring out these colors the best we can. And I'm going to click OK, and we got to give it a title, so I'm going to give this the title Tutorial. Let's do that. That sounds good. So tutorial, awesome. And now that is completely rendered out. So I'm gonna go and swipe over here to my desktop and I'm gonna bring this image over here. I'm gonna click this open and kaboom guys, there it is. There's our final image. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Uh, I had a lot of fun making it. I love teaching these types of things to you guys. It's just uh, very fun. I hope you guys did learn some stuff from this. But um, yeah, uh, make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you guys did enjoy this video. And make sure to drop a comment below if you guys have any questions or anything like that. I will definitely answer them. But uh, yeah, this has been Hayden and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah.